Hello, my lovely people, and good morning. Today is Thursday, January 19th. I'm sedating the date in case I don't post this video on today. <laughs> but good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, like and subscribe. It really helps me out, and that would be great. Um, today, as you can see, I have on my apron. I'm excited because my best friend is coming over, so I'm about to make her breakfast slash brunch because it is about to be 10 o'clock. I did do an intermittent fast this morning, so um, I haven't ate anything, and I'm about to make us both something to eat. So today's meal is going to be special. It's going to be nice. I am making a vegan slash vegetarian dish because one's vegan, one's vegetarian, I believe. But anywho, I am making a vegan chicken and potato bowl and some almond waffles for our brunch today. So come along with me, sit back, relax. I'll leave all the recipes in the details and um, let's get started. So for this vegan meals main base, I'm gonna be using some tater tots and I'm going to be using this original chicken patties, Morningstar chicken. And this meal is gonna actually be healthy as well because we're frying these in the air fryer, no oil involved. So let's go ahead and put these in the air fryer and then we'll begin chopping up our vegetables for um, the toppings of it and, you know, kind of scrambling our eggs and stuff. But we'll get to that later. Let's go. So unfortunately, I have not been able to upgrade to a better air fryer. I still have this really cheap old Insignia air fryer. And so um, it's not a lot of space in here, but that's okay. We're going to make it work. So now that my chicken patties are over there um, in the air fryer right now, um, I'm about to start cutting my vegetables. I have a red pepper. I was looking for green, but I don't have it. So we're going to use this red pepper. And I have my spinach over here soaking in the container. So we're going to fry that up a little bit later and saute that really well. But let's go ahead and get these vegetables cut. Okay, so I got my onions cut. I'm keeping it in a separate bowl because I'm actually gonna caramelize these and saute them really nice because that sweet taste is gonna be really good over those potatoes and um, chicken patties. And um, I'm gonna just fry this separate with some seasonings. But I did leave off a bit of vital information um, when I was doing the introduction earlier. Uh, it is 10 o'clock and it is a Thursday. And normally I'm working on a Thursday, but I decided to take a mental health day. Um, so I took a half a day. I worked until 9 because I normally clock in at 5. So I worked until 9, uh, I clocked in at 5 a.m. And I worked until 9 a.m. And I just took the rest of the day off because I need a mental health day. Like I'm breaking out. I'm stressed. <laughs> Work has been extremely overwhelming. And so for those of you who might have mental health issues or, you know, just battling stress and just the everyday demand of life, um, just remember to always give yourself a mental health day. Um... I did that for myself. Oh, my friend just walked through the door. <laughs> she didn't know she was going to be in my vlog today. But yes, so <laughs> definitely take a mental health day. Um, and so that's what we're doing today. We're just going to relax and chill and have a good time. But back to cooking. Okay, I did lie. I forgot to mention that I did put a little bit of oil, organic. Um, I use this here, Pompeian oil, if that's how you pronounce it, into these onions. So I did use a little bit of oil, but everything else is air fried. So it is uh, a lot healthier than frying it in the pan. And so for my onions, I'm adding a little bit of natural raw sugar just to caramelize them a little bit. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to those and let those saute a bit. For only one. I'll show you the recipe that I use. Now, if you have a snuck and pressed slice, you are on record now. <laughs> yes, ma'am, they gotta see me cook these onions. Ah, well done. I have not already said what I'm going to say. I know. Okay, so goodness. she was just over here giving good advice about a lady on the podcast that she listens to. 
So if you're not listening to Hello 7 with Rachel Rogers, you have to. Um, but one of the most recent podcasts I was listening to, forgive me for not remembering her name, oh my gosh. But um, she's a blogger. Something that I guess she decided to do now. She's a blogger. And she said one thing. I think the girl would have one thing to take away from it is nothing else for every for every, every negative thought you have counteract it with something positive and you have to say that positive thought out loud because when you start believing in yourself you can open doors to great things and I was like okay ma'am okay so let me start doing that for myself so yeah to think about Definitely, because we forget how often we speak negative by how little we speak positive of our lives. So it's definitely important to remind yourself to you, speak positive. I think this is the recipe I use. And you attract what you think about the most. So if you're always thinking about something negative, oh, my life is this and my life is that, and I don't have this because of that, it's because you're surrounding your thoughts with all this negativity. So you're going to stay in that negative world of everything and everyone is against you. So when you start thinking positively. Yes. Okay. About Here's my almond flour uh, recipe. It's uh, almond flour waffle recipe. You and me cook it. Um, you can start pressing it. Yeah. <laughs> I always get to what I do. Always. She's going to cook with me. <laughs> I'm trying to find a snack. Okay, these eggs are about done. And since they kind of, I kind of let them burn, looking through that phone, but, well, not really burn. Hold on, let me show you. Kind of let them brown a little bit over than I want it to. But this is about the, um, you know, uh, look that I'm going for, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's over here getting on me. Okay, so. The peppers are now good and sauteed, so that's going to go and sit to the side because that's going to be a topper on our bone. And um, now we are about to start the waffle process. And now we're also about to put the tater tots in the air fryer. Okay, so we got the tater tots in the air fryer and we have um, our ingredients out for our waffles. Now, like I said, the waffles, the waffles, sorry, are vegan because we do use, I mean, are vegetarian. Let me make that clear. Vegetarian because we do use eggs. They're not completely vegan. But if you want, you can substitute the eggs for applesauce, which I have done a million times before and over too. So we have maple syrup. You're going to use a tablespoon of that. We have almond flour. Um, that's a, a cup and one fourth of a cup of almond flour. Baking powder is a teaspoon. Salt is one fourth of a teaspoon. Almond milk is one fourth cup, and pure vanilla is um, a teaspoon as well. And all of that just goes in the bowl, mix it up, and then you got a mixture ready for your pancake griddle or your waffle iron. So we have the chicken patties cut up that we just got at the air fryer. These are vegan chicken patties. And now um, I'm restarting the tater tots again because it's a lot in here. Please forgive how raggedy my air fryer looking fifty, but that's the tater tots. And um, she's over there making the waffles while I saute a bit of spinach for the potato bowl. So here's our cute little waffle urn, perfectly in time for Valentine's Day. <laughs> that's right, the that's right around the corner. And so, um, yeah, we're just preparing that and we're almost done pretty much. Let me, so I done cut myself with my knife because she decided, <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But um, yeah, a little accident. So I'm over here healing, <laughs> but we are almost done and about to plate it. Okay, so last but not least, we're just cooking the eggs, about to put the eggs um, in the pan here. And um, the waffles are done. Look how cute those are, <laughs> adorable okay okay so the eggs are done last but not least i made us some hot healthy teas in this tea i put some of the respiratory aid that i use i put a half a slice of lemon in there some ginger and a cinnamon stick and then i use some raw sugar for it um and for the waffles we are using my homemade strawberry preserves so we are about to plate it and then y'all can see how it looks 
Alrighty, so here is the finished product. You have your delicious tater bowl. This is a lot of food, you all. <laughs> and chances are, we're not going to eat all of this. But this is our potato chicken bowl with all those delicious, amazing veggies on top. Don't it look so good? And then this is our waffles with our fresh strawberry preserves on top. And then our good old hot tea with our ginger in it. Because we're going to definitely need that ginger after eating all of this. But let me do this here. Okay, so I was only able to eat half of the bowl. Not even that really. Like this was so fulfilling. <laughs> I'm so full and I was able to finish my I was gonna say she finished them fingers. <laughs> I finished my waffles. But that bowl it, it, it took me through that. But it was absolutely delicious, guys. You have to try this. It's like the best, you know, vegan healthy breakfast, you know, ever for me. But um now um me and my friend, her name is Octavia, by the way. We plan on ignore those raggedy bananas. I'm <laughs> gonna have to make some banana bread or something with that. <laughs> but we so another reason we took the day off was to have some sisterly time to plan our businesses. Um we've been like, you know, pre um sorry, I had an onion on. <laughs> I really went through that with that food. But um we've been just planning our businesses, doing our layouts, you know, write down goals and stuff for ourselves. So today we decided to also take time out to work on it together. There's some things that I know that I can help her with in her business. And there's some things that she knows that she can help me with in my business. So we're going to take the rest of this time um, until it's time to go get the kids to so kind of just like plan and, 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 and put things together for our businesses so that we can um, start launching some stuff. Um, for her, she will be doing um, body scrubs, lotions, um, oils, uh, lip balms, um, what else? Foot soaks. Foot soaks, like all the stuff that you can pamper yourself with. <laughs> so, excuse me. So if you can go to go to her Facebook page, like her Facebook page, it's what? Jovial Body Essentials. Jovial Body Essentials. And you can also start purchasing and placing orders for her business page now. Mine is in the works in the skin creator, but um, I will start selling um, my gems, my jellies, my breads, my fresh bagels, you know, the, uh, all of those things. And um, I also will be catering. I've started catering already, but it's just to a few family friends and acquaintances and things like that but i do want to start like really pushing my catering business um with brunches and things like that and as you can see this is one of the meals that i made today that i really hope will be a good you know hit when i start doing my brunches and my catered brunches um also um to be able to offer vegan options as well as you know regular options you know it'll make me versatile because a lot of people don't know how to cook vegan or don't like vegan or can't uh, you know don't come up with a lot of recipes but i just try stuff so um that's and and if i like it then of, uh, i don't know if other folk will like it but <laughs> i definitely uh try to see if i like it first and see if it's something that's edible for me to eat before i share it um and it tastes good so um with that being said, I, I'm excited to actually launch my catering a little bit farther out and um, actually start my, my Facebook business page. So when that's up and running, I'll give you more information on that and just kind of go from there. So that's what we're about to do now.